Hi, I'm Bill Sanders, and I'm an Adobe Community Professional. Uh, we're, we're people who help out people who uh, use Adobe products, and the product that I'm going to talk about is Adobe Premiere Elements. This is the simpler version of Adobe Premiere. So uh, today what I'd like to talk about is how to make a split screen video and put it up on YouTube. Now a split screen means that part of the screen does one thing and the other part does something else. And today we're going to talk about how to make one with part of the screen being a video and the other part being still. I'm the video that's the still part. So let's see how we do that. Uh, the first thing that we do is that we, we start with making a graphic, uh, some whatever that is. It could be photographs, it could be some artwork of your own. Uh, right here I was, uh, I, I have a, a channel for watch collectors and in this particular one I was talking about California dials. This is the type of style of dials that are made. And what I did is that I took a photograph of a dial and put that on the right side. Then I used something, uh, this is from a template in a, another Adobe program called Spark. And Spark you can just do right on the, uh, on the web and then you can take what you create and download it and use it. And this is what I did here. So I have a couple different things. I have no, no graphic abilities whatsoever. I, so I do a lot of cutting and pasting. All right, so, uh, and this, by the way, too, that picture, is, uh, it's done in uh, Photoshop Elements, so it's more part of the package that comes with uh, Premiere Elements, so you get them together. And the format I used was 970 wide by 80 deep, and this will fit in with the format that I use with YouTube, and it leaves plenty of room for the video. Okay, so once you finish with that, you have uh, you have your basically your page. This is a considered a single page, a 970 by 800 picture that you're going to use to explain something, whatever that is. Now, once you've done that, you will you'll open up a a, a new Premiere video and you have an area called Project Assets, and, you, and to get material into Project Assets, the easiest thing to do is simply drag them from the desktop and drop them right in the assets. Uh, you can load them in other ways, but I just take them and drag them right into the Project Assets. Now, there's two types of assets that we're going to be using. In this particular one, there's a picture there. It took me two graphics, or two videos, uh, in order to do it the way I wanted to, so the uh, the second video covered the part of the with the California dials. So what you do first is that you drag the video first, and and what'll happen when you drag it and put it on in the uh, on, on top of the page, it will bump right in the middle, and then just drag it over to the right. Now I shot the video using a an Apple iPhone, <laughs> not nothing fancy. And so you just move it over to the side. So it's, and then on the other side, you the you put the, the graphic. And in order to do that, you simply, again, this is in your project assets, you drag it and you drop it on, the, on top of the page. And you have to push it over a little to the left and so you have something that looks like that. And you can see the two layers. The video will be on the bottom layer and the graphics will be on the top layer. All right, now once you, once you have all of, your, all of the graphics that you're going to use in your video that you have, the, you're all set to, to put it up on YouTube. And it's really simple using uh, Adobe, uh, Adobe Premiere Elements. Uh, you up in the upper right hand corner you'll see a export and share button and you click that and there's quick export devices and so forth but you're gonna you can go directly online to your YouTube channel and so you click the little uh, globe icon that says online I use the standard HD 1080 uh, you can see the recommended uh, settings that they have, 1920 by 1080, and that's what I use. 
and then the quality I use standard quality high quality is nice but it takes up more bandwidth so that's that's the choice now as soon as you click online and then you can click begin share now when you click begin share uh, what you'll see is a page with asking for information and uh, the name of it, the California dial, and then a type is how to and style. I have it as private. The reason I have it as private is that I may want to do some work on it on YouTube before I make it public. And then I say a little about what, what, it's, uh, what it's about. Uh, the, it's about a watch, certain brand of watch and the California dial. And then I have some things that are sort of finding uh, little tags and so forth uh, with Louis Arad, California dial. And then it, by default, it says Premier Elements uh, 2019 or 2020 or whatever you happen to have. Now, it's important that you have a YouTube channel. You have to have a YouTube account and have that all set up before you do this. And the the next thing you do, you just click the upload button and it'll go through it where you want it and so forth. And you just put in the information for your YouTube. And the next thing you know, you got a split screen video up on YouTube. It, it's a very simple thing to do. And the it, it, it's, a, it's a good way when you describe something. It could be your family vacation. It can be, in my case, I'm talking about a hobby, watches. It could be about if you're a pilot and you want to talk about flying or whatever your hobby is, or you want to talk about music, it's an easy way to do it. Okay, uh, so that's all for now. Now, below, you're going to see a comment section. You can, you can write questions and anything you have, and I'll be glad to answer them for you.